Hey everybody! Welcome to MHD Beauty's Tutorial Tuesdays. Uh, I'm filming episode 2 and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a fun and flirty Valentine's date night makeup look. So let's get started. The first step of this look is obviously to put on foundation and I've also done some highlighting and contouring. I've done my eyebrows and I've put some blush and a little bit more highlight powder on my cheekbones. So I've already gotten that out of the way so that we can go straight to the eyes, um, do some eyeshadow, eyeliner, apply some false eyelashes which I know everybody loves and uh, also I'm going to demonstrate how to apply a long wear lipstick. So the first step in applying eyeshadow is you want to make sure that you have a good eyeshadow primer. And one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow primers is this product by The Balm, B-A-L-M, The Balm. It's called Put a Lid on It and it is an eyelid primer and uh, that's all that this product is made for. So it's made specifically for your eyelids. So what I do is I just unscrew it and I squirt a little bit onto my hand. So you can see right there, it's very little amount. And then I take my ring finger and just dip about half of it onto my ring finger. And then just dab it lightly onto my eyelid. And now I'm gonna do that on the other side. And what this does is it just gives you a nice base to start with and it also acts as glue for your eyeshadow so that you don't have any eyeshadow uh, creasing throughout the night. I guarantee you that you will not have creasing if you use this product properly. So the next step is you want to start with something um, fun and flirty and light and sparkly to put actually on your eyelids. So um, in my last tutorial I demonstrated a, uh, a palette called the Naked Flush Palette by Urban Decay which I really like a lot. It's got a bronzer and it's got a really nice um, gold sparkly highlight color and a really nice muted blush tone. And I'm actually going to use this gold highlight color for the eyeshadow on my lids. So to apply that, I'm just going to use a small fluffy brush, kind of flat as you can see. Um, I'm going to dip that generously into the product and then I'm just going to start dabbing that onto my eyelid. And since this is a nice light sparkly color, it's okay if a little bit falls into our cheekbones. So you don't have to worry about being careful when applying this. So I'm going to add it to the other side. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it out like so, so that it's not just on the eyelid, but a little bit further out as well. And while we're using that color, I'm going to use a smudge brush. And this one I actually got from Sephora. It is uh, brush number 29. And I'm just going to kind of roll that into the sparkly um, gold color. And I'm just going to kind of go along the bottom of my lash line. And again, since this is a light color, it, we really don't have to worry about precision here. I just want to have some fun sparkly shadow underneath my eye to act as a bottom lash eyeliner. So I'm going to do that on the other side. No precision necessary. Just try to stay decently close to your lash line so that you don't have it all the way down here. Okay, so that's step number one. Step number two is we would like to take a, a eyeshadow color that's a little bit darker than the color that we put on our lid. Um, this color that I'm choosing is actually from a palette called The Nudes by Maybelline and you can get this at your local Walgreens or I've also included a link on my blog for you to buy it from Amazon. And I'm just going to use this first kind of medium brown color here and uh, whoops, dropped my brush. And I'm just going to take um, a little bit bigger fluffy brush that's also flat so we can get in those creases really good. And I'm just going to dip that lightly into this medium brown color here. And the reason I'm dipping that lightly is I want us to be able to blend the color in um, and so that it's not too much on the outset so that we can build on it. So just dipping it lightly here. And then I'm just kind of going to go in the crease 
of the eye. Again, we don't want too much of a dark color for this look. And for that reason, I'll explain later. And then I'm just gonna kinda go in a little bit on the lash line and in the crease of my eye, the outer crease. And I'm just gonna kinda blend this color in. So you can already see the difference between this eye and that eye. And this eye is a little, needs a little bit more blending, but um, I'm gonna move on and add some color to the other eye and then I'll show you how you can blend with a brush that has no color on it whatsoever at the end. It's always good to keep a brush uh, with no product on it so that you can blend out colors without adding new colors. Okay, so I have added some product. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to this crease area. Okay, so I've got that blended out. So I'm gonna take a brush that doesn't have any product on it, it's clean, and I'm just gonna kinda go over this part that's not very nice and blended. And you can see already how that made a huge difference. So again, very important just to keep a clean eyeshadow brush just for blending. And I'm just going to do a little bit more adjustment. I'm going to bring that color out just a little bit on this eye to match the other eye. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to blend on this side. Now I'm going to take the same smudge brush and I'm just going to take just a little bit of that medium brown color and I'm just going to go from the outer corner around the bottom same on this side again the key to this is just make sure that you're not getting too much product on your brush because you can always add more but it's a little more difficult to remove it once you've put it on so as you can see it looks like I have eyeliner on the bottom already which I love and I'm not even gonna add eyeliner. So the last step is take the same brush, the same smudge brush that you used for the under eye um, eyeshadow, and just take a little bitty tiny dip of this darkest color. I like a taupe color just because it makes your eyes pop a little bit more than more of a warm brown color in my opinion. And then we're just gonna kinda go right on the outer corner and down here okay and then I'm gonna add a little bit to that side gonna make sure everything is symmetrical okay so as you can see it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of eyeshadow but I'm wearing just enough to make a difference so the last step with eyeshadow is highlighting with a nice light shimmery color in the inner corners and on the brow bone. Um, the color that I'm using is the brow bone color, um, which is this top color here, and this little bitty palette that I got from Walgreens. It's a wet and wild uh, palette called Sweet as Candy. And uh, I'm just going to dip the same brush that I used to blend out those colors. I'm going to use that to highlight. I'm just gonna dip that in and I'm gonna dust that on my tear duct area so you can already see that making a difference just gives your eyes that fun little pop pop of light and then I'm gonna put a little bit right under my brows and you can choose to bring it over sometimes I do that sometimes I don't I'm doing it today because I don't have a lot of darker shadow up here. Um, when you have darker shadow closer to your eyebrow and you put the lighter color here, it tends to look a little harsh. So um, if you don't have a lot of shadow on it, it's totally okay to add highlight color under your whole eyebrow. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some liquid eyeliner just to the top of my eye. 
I have been using this Ultra Liner by Maybelline forever. Honestly, since I was in sixth grade, I think, when I was wearing Maybelline Disco Ball Silver Eyeshadow. You girls know what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, so I've been using this forever, and I love it because it has a really nice, like, true brush that comes with it. It's not one of those sponge things. This really has a lot of room to move. So, um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to do a winged tip liner, also known as cat eye liner. And um, the reason I'm going to do that is because it gives the eyes kind of that Audrey Hepburn doe eyed look. So um, that's just one of my favorite looks to wear with eyeliner. So I'm just going to get some product on the brush. I'm going to start in the outer like third and just brush along your lash line all the way to the crease and then dr drag it out a little bit like like so and then I'm gonna get a little bit more product on the applicator I'm gonna start in the inside corner and the key with this as I mentioned is just go along your lash line because you want to make sure that it looks like your lash line is fuller than it is and that's the point of using eyeliner. So as you can see I've got a wing tip going on out here and I'm really liking how that's shaping up so I'm gonna leave that. So on the other side as you can see I have already started adding that liner and the key to getting that really nice wispy point is short light strokes and not having too much product on the brush. So I'm going to go in and just connect that line. And if you ever mess up with this, this is a waterproof product, but if you ever mess up with it, just take a precision brush and use the same uh, eyeshadow as the section that you messed up on and just kind of go over the line and it will smooth it out and make it look really nice. Alright, so I think that is looking good and up to my liking. So once you have that done, it's time to apply mascara. And as you can see, my eyelashes look uh, nice and white right now because I used my spray foundation that I use so that gets a little bit on the eyelashes but that's okay because it kind of adds some you know dust particles to the eyelashes which adheres to the mascara and makes them uh, look a little bit longer and fuller so I'm using Benefit's Their Real Mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara. I love the formula and I also love the brush because I feel like it really allows me to get in there and get all the, uh, the lashes. So I'm just going to apply this mascara. And as I mentioned before, everybody has their own uh, mascara application techniques, but you know, I feel like there's really no rhyme or reason to applying mascara. As long as you're careful and you don't get the black mascara up on the beautiful eyeshadow that you just applied. You want to be careful not to tarnish that with mascara. So one eye is done. Get some more product and go to town on the other side. You also want to try to get as close to the base of the lash line as possible because that adds length to your lashes as well. But of course you want to try really hard not to get it actually in your eye. Okay, so that has been added and as you can see I got a little bitty black speck of mascara. So all I'm going to do to clean that up is I'm going to take that medium color, same brush that I used, and just kind of go over it like that. and It's all fixed. I'm also going to take uh, my Wet n Wild Mega Length Waterproof Mascara and just go over my bottom lashes. I'm trying not to make a goofy face while I do this. But my eyes are so small 
that I have a hard time opening them. Okay, there we go. One side down, one side to go. And the reason I'm not adding eyeliner on the bottom is because I don't, for this look, I don't want it to look like too much. Um, because if we had eyeliner, shadow, and mascara on the bottom, it could look like a little bit too much. Also, as you can see, I got a little bit mascara down on that lash line. So I'm just going to take that brush and kind of move that around a little bit. I'm going to use that to my advantage and kind of make like a, an eyeliner of sorts. Just try to make it look even as even as possible. Alright, so the last step for the eyes is to add some really cute and fun and flirty um, false eyelashes. So my favorite lashes are by a brand called Miss Adoro and these are number 307 and these are actually half size lashes so they just go on the outer halves of your eyes. Um, I order these from loveeyelashes.com that's L-O-V E-Y-E-L-A-S-H-E-S dot -E -E com. And again, this is Miss Adoro number 307. But I'll have this linked in my blog. So to apply these, you want to peel them off of the carton. And I'm actually going to use some that I've used already a couple times this week. So they've got a little bit of mascara on them. I like to reuse my false eyelashes because I don't put a lot of mascara on them so they're able to be reused um, without having to throw them away every time. So um, I'm going to take some lash glue by Duo and this actually is a brush on adhesive. It doesn't squeeze out which I like because I have more control over how much glue goes on the lashes. So I just kind of brush like a light amount of glue on the base of the lashes because that's where you're going to be placing the lashes. That's where you're going to be adhering them to your uh, eyelids. And then just hold them by the tips. Actually for these I like to hold like the outer the outer side. And then I'm going to get close up so you can see. And I like to go from top down and just place them right on that lash line. So as you can see, huge difference already between this eye and that eye. Okay, now once your eyes are done, you can complete your look with a long-lasting lip color. And one of my favorite brands of long wear lip color is by Maybelline. It's called Super Stay 24 Hour Color, and I've had this for quite a while. So the label has worn off but um, the lip color is still good and, and the color actually that I like to use is called All Day Cherry. It's number 015 and the reason I like this color is because it is a nice blue toned red and uh, that is really helpful in making your teeth look whiter and your smile look a little brighter. So I will demonstrate for you how to apply this now. So all you have to do is just unscrew the color side and it comes with a foam tip applicator. Um, the thing I'll say about applying long wear lip color is it's kind of like a stain more than it is like a regular lipstick lip color or lip gloss. So you have to be really careful when you're applying it because it is um, pretty difficult to remove once you've added it onto your lips. So the way I like to do it is I like to get a fair amount of product on the sponge and then I just like to start on the inside of my lip and just go around and I'm going to do this next part without talking so I don't mess it up. As you can see I use the tip of this applicator to get in the, the crevices and I'll trace along the lines of my lip so I'm going to get a little bit more product. And as this dries, it becomes a little tacky, so just be careful of that as well.
I'm going to take my finger and do like that to get that excess off before it dries. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit more just to deepen the color because that's my personal preference. All right, so this lip color is applied. So I'm gonna let it dry so that I can demonstrate to you how it's kissable. You can kiss on your honey on your Valentine's date and he doesn't have to worry about getting um, lipstick all over his mouth and we know how the boys don't like that. So this is a great product to use when you know you'll be loving up to your honey but you still wanna have a nice, pretty, bright lip color. It also comes with a um, like a shiny balm on the other end that will give you a nice um, shiny glow and unfortunately I've used most of it so I'm just gonna take one of my lip brushes and kind of dig it in there and kind of get out the rest of that product so I can show you how how shiny and pretty it looks Okay, so I've applied the color, I've applied the balm. This is my favorite part. No lip color, yay! Perfect for Valentine's Day. And in my opinion, it's the perfect shade of red for you as well. Uh, you can find the link to buy this product in my blog, as well as all the other products that I've demonstrated today. And that's it for this Valentine's Date Night Flirty Eyes and Kissable Lips tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the application techniques, please feel free to message me, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to get back to you. See you next week.